Yo, this is Required Fields here, and um, recently I did a video about death metal, and some band death field deserve more recognition in um, the, the style, but um, I think I'm now going to do my favorite genre of metal, thrash metal. I'm going to talk about some band death field uh, deserve um, more recognition in that genre. Okay, the band I'm going to start off with is the same band I'm wearing a shirt of right now, Heathen, and... Um, this is their Breaking a Silence album. This is their first album, and it's, um, the uh, album that um, I kind of um, heard the uh, first bit of Heaven material off of. The uh, band released a music video for the song Set Me Free, which is actually a cover song of the uh, band The Sweet. And it's not really representative, but then again, it's a cover song. And uh, the highlight of the album is the title track, Breaking the Silence, and um, also uh, the song uh, is, uh, Open a Grave is another uh, great song on it. Pray for Death is the number one that I really uh, love on the album. And the closing song, Heaven, which is actually a bonus track on the CD um, only released version of the album back when it was released initially in 1987. The band would re-record this song um, under the title of Heaven Song under 1991 album Victims of Deception, her second album. And um, that album is also fantastic. The best song on that one would be Opiate of the Masses. And some of the great songs on it would be, um, would be Morbid Curiosity and uh, Mercy is No Virtue. But both albums, uh, Breaking the Silence and uh, Victims of Deception, are excellent all the way through. And also, the album that I have uh, the shirt on of, um, The Evolution of Chaos, their most recent album, is also excellent. Great, great, great band. Can't recommend them enough. This is a band called Devastation, and this is their um, album Idolatry, which is um, a 1991 album on Combat Records, which some of you may, uh, which most metalheads would know of, uh, as it was the uh, record label of Megadeth back in the day, and um, other bands in that label. Um, would be uh, Dark Angel and Death, and there were many other bands um, that were on that label back in the day. And um, Devastation was from Texas, and they played brutal thrash metal in the vein of groups like Dark Angel and Sepultura, although the vocals had a bit of a crossover edge to them. The album was produced by Scott Burns, um, who um, produced um, many um, bands back in the um, um, 19... Um, 80s and 90s um, in the thrash metal and death metal genres, and um, and also um, the next band that I have here is Whiplash. Some of you may know of them as um, as a band that um, Tony Scaglia, oh, Dave Lombardo Slayer, briefly had to leave the band um, back in the 80s, and he was played by Tony Scaglione from Whiplash. And um, interesting note about Whiplash is that all three of the band members have the same first name back when they first released their um, debut album, Power and Pain. This version of the album, Power and Pain, actually, well, it's actually the two albums, first two albums um, on the same disc, and um, Power and Pain and, um, and Ticket to Mayhem um, is the second disc. Of the two albums, I prefer Power and Pain, but Ticket to Mayhem is also pretty good. Power and Pain has um, the song Power Thrashing Death, which is the band's best known song. And Stage Dive is another great song on that album, although um, the whole album is generally pretty good. And um, off of Ticking to Mayhem, I think the songs I like best are um, uh, Snake Pit and um, Drowning in Torment and Respect the Dead. Very cool band. Um, compared to Kill em All, Air Metallica, uh, if I have anything I can compare it to. And, um, yeah, um, I'd re definitely recommend Whiplash uh, and think they deserve more recognition in the field as well. Sabat. So this is their second album, Dreamweaver. It is also the first album that was a concept album in um, the thrash metal genre. And um, some of you may know that producer Andy Sneap, who has produced um, numerous uh, metal albums um, in recent years, he actually was a guitar player for this band. Um, so Bat's first album was History of a Time to Come in 1988. They also released an album in 1991 called Morning Has Broken, 
which is a good album, but it's pretty much considered to be it's a bad album in name only. It sounds very little like the first two albums. The band themselves seem to disown it. I think it's pretty good, but it's very different from the first two, and I think that's why it's generally ignored in the catalog. And um, anyways, uh, the uh, album uh, Dreamweaver is based on the novel The Way of Word, uh, W-Y-R-D, and it's... Um, takes place in pre-Christian England, and it's a great album. Never heard, uh, don't know anything about the book uh, that was based on, because I've never read it, but the uh, uh, album itself is great. Definitely, I would recommend it. Onslaught. This is their album, In Search of Sanity. It's uh, my favorite album of theirs. The early stuff by Onslaught is more in the vein of Slayer. This album is more in the vein of Injustice for All era Metallica, is what it seems to be compared to. It's um, epic thrash metal. Um, some of you may remember that um, band Grim Reaper. The vocalist for that band, Steve Grimmett, is the vocalist on this album. And um, some of the highlights on the album include the songs, um, the title track, In Search of Sanity, Blood Upon the Ice, and the album highlight and the best song the band ever did. Welcome to Dying, which is 12 and a half minutes long, and um, some people have mixed feelings about the album because it sounds very different from the first two, but I think it's their best album, personally, just my opinion. Next up is a band called Realm, and this is their album Suicidey, and um, it's their second album, and their, uh, and their first album, Endless War, is quite good, too. Uh, they're Rob was more of a power thrash hybrid in a way, but they're a really good band, and they're a really good band. Um, I think I uh, prefer um, Suicide of the two because it has the best song I ever did uh, as a brainchild. However, um, I also would say that Eggless War, their first album, is really good too. And um, the releases, they recorded, but they never released a third album. But what's interesting is that they actually made a music video for a song in that album called The Final uh, Argument of Cadence, which is a good song, definitely worth checking out. But the album itself was never released. Um, hopefully someday it will be, so we get to uh, experience it. The metal scene should uh, check out Realm's first two albums if they um, haven't yet. And hopefully someday that third album will get released. Now we have a band called Overfro. This is their first and only album, Within Suffering. It was released in 1990, and it also was produced by Scott Burns, uh, who I mentioned um, in the, uh, when I was talking about Devastation earlier. Overpl Overfro play very brutal thrash metal in the vein of groups like Demolition Hammer, and um, this is their only album. They made a music video for Sound Suppression, they're from Scarborough. My guitar teacher um, actually knew this band in person back in the day. After the band broke up, Nick said guys briefly went on to become a member of the band Pestilence, and he also formed his own band called Soulstorm uh, sometime not, uh, not too long after a brief stint in Pestilence. He never played any of Pestilence's albums, just played some live shows. And also this is a band called Oblivion. They're um, from Quebec, and uh, this is their album from This Day Forward, from 1990. It has a very unique sound to it. It's one of the more original sounding uh, thrash albums I can think of. It almost has a bit of a feel like uh, thrash metal in space, kind of a sci-fi thrash metal feel to it. That makes sense. And um, their uh, next album, Nemesis, was also really good, but it's not very thrash oriented, but it's still a good album. Another band that I don't currently own anything by, at least not yet, but um, hopefully someday I will, is a band called Assorted Heap. Their first album, The Experience of Horror, is um, in the vein of stuff like Sepultura. Second album, while still quite thrashy, is a bit more melodic and, um, and um, more mid-paced, but it's still uh, very good. It, um, Mind Waves is the name of the second album. and. Um, that has some songs like Colored Eyes and, um, and Nice to Beat You and um, the title track, which are all really good songs. The first album, ha Experience of Horror, has some great songs on it like Trick to Your Mind and Sold Out Souls. Definitely recommend you check out Assorted Heap if you never have. And they're death metal and thrash metal hybrid, but Torture Squad is another band worth checking out. 
Realm Pandemonium is excellent. Anyways, these were some thrash metal bands I felt I would give some recognition to. Thank you for watching, my brothers and sisters of metal. Stay strong, and um, thank you for watching. Goodbye.